Welcome to the House Edge Sports Network, the pulse of youth sports. Um, the other thing that I wanted to quickly talk about was uh, just a little bit about what happened last weekend in Nakafa. Uh, as we all know, it was the um, Nakafa semifinals in the in all the divisions, and um, those those semifinals have led to to the finals. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to quickly take a look at um, at the championship weekend that's coming up on, I guess that would be November 6th, Sunday, November 6th at uh, the brand new Millennium Sports Field in uh, in the east end of the city in Orleans. And um, I think that it's going to be a great, a great day there. We got a great field. We're not going to have terrible turf. So kids are getting their bodies all torn up. It's going to be it's really going to be a fantastic, fantastic day. Let's let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that the weather's good. As we all know, at this time of the year in Ottawa, the weather can be a little erratic, to say the least. So we're really excited and hoping that we're going to have a, a good matchup. So we're going to start with the Tyke division. In the Tyke division, we have the Orleans Bengals facing off against the Cornwall Wildcats. If I'm not mistaken, I do believe that this is... Um, you know what? I don't know if this is last year, but I believe the Cornwall was in the game last year. Uh, no, you know what? I think last year was the Bengals versus the Giants. But either way, we got Cornwall back. We got uh, the Orleans Bengals at the tight division. It's going to be a great game. Obviously, not being so well versed in the tight division, uh, it's going to be really a crapshoot. But watching those little kids play football is it, just one of those things that always brings back memories of when I used to play tight football and, and uh, falling in love with the sport of football. I won my first uh, A-Cup championship. That was in 1993. game was broadcast on Rogers TV, hosted um, by uh, Rogers, as we said, on Cable 22. And uh, we were down 13 nothing to the Orleans Bengals. And uh, we came back. Canterbury Mustangs won the game 20-13. to And uh, those memories that I had when I was 10 years old, being 33 now, those still stick in my mind. And being able to to hold on to those memories really is what makes the sport so great. This is what sport's all about. These kids don't know it now. They, the coaches don't know it yet. But some of the things that they're going to do on November 6th at Millennium Field are, are things that they could probably hold on to until, until for the rest of their lives. You know, I, I'm still only 33, like I said, but I, I'll never forget the feeling of winning my first Nakafa A Cup championship, and it was one of those it was one of those great moments uh, for my family and for my friends, and it was just it was just so it was something that I'll never forget. And whenever I do film these championship games, which will be the fifth year coming up here this year, it's something that I always keep in the back of my mind and and try to put in perspective to realize what did I feel when I was the one who was playing as a 10-year-old or a 9-year-old in, in the A-Cup final. To me, that was uh, the most important thing that I could have achieved in my life as an athlete. So let's all remember that these kids haven't experienced uh, a lot of adversity in sports at this point in time. And whether the, the, the team that loses, I've lost an A-Cup final at Tyke, and then uh, I've also won one, so I understand both sides of the spectrum. But... It's so fun to watch these kids play. So I think we're going to have a great game at the uh, at the Tyke Division. At the Mosquito Division, we all Orleans Bengals are also in there and it's it's a classic um the Kaffa matchup. We got the Orleans Bengals versus the Myers Riders. Nice to see the Myers Riders in at the Mosquito Division. Um you know, again, when you got teams like the Orleans Bengals and the Myers Riders, these are two of the the uh, the premier teams in the history of Nakafa. These are these are teams that have laid the groundwork for tons of successful football careers in the history of our city. Guys like uh, I know Dave Azzi played Dukes and Jesse Palmer played played uh, Myers Riders and so many great football players have come out and gone on to play in junior football in the OUA and uh, one's a West End team, one's an East End team and it's just one of those great classic rivalries really good to see and i'm really excited to to be filming that game and and see what's gonna see what's gonna happen between that game so make sure you guys when the when the film gets taken care of and coming out you guys watch it on uh, on youtube at the peewee division 
we have the Cumberland Panthers versus the North Gloucester Giants. Now, for those that don't know, Pee Wee is the age when the OVFL teams in the city start to recruit kids. So the Bantam division at OUA, uh, sorry, at OVFL is 13-14. The Pee Wee division at NACAFA is 13-14. The Cumberland Panthers and the North Gloucester Giants are both uh, feeder teams to the OVFL Cumberland Panthers, of course. So these kid, these are kids that probably have a lot of uh, knowledge of each other. I don't know the rosters uh, for the North Gloucester Giants so much, but I do know uh, the Cumberland Panthers, and I know that uh, Coach Karate will have these guys ready to go. And uh, I think they've played in the championship the last five years. I know Pee Wee last year, Mosquito. You know what? They actually missed it one year in Mosquito. I remember the rainy day where they didn't qualify, but they were in it tight. So these are teams that have been in the championship game every almost every single season for the last five years this is a group of kids that have played together for probably seven years uh, coach karate has done i think an, uh, an amazing job getting these kids ready and keeping them focused to play football and uh, i think this is going to be a, a classic game i'm gonna uh, make my first pick here because uh, i'm not going to pick the taika mosquito divisions because i obviously don't know anything about them but the Cumberland Panthers versus the North Gloucester Giants. I can't see the Panthers not winning this um, with the with the players that they have and the coaching staff that they have. I just feel that uh, they're going to be able to come out and do a fantastic job and get the W. And uh, I'm really excited to be there and uh, watch it firsthand. And uh, I will be rooting for a great game. I don't really care who wins. All I want to see is these kids put on a good show. Hope the weather's good. And I think it's going to be a great game. Um, at the Bantam Division... We got probably, if you're going to ask me for the five years that I've been filming uh, Nakafa football, this is going to be the best championship game that we've ever seen. Not in the sense of the actual outcome of the game, because no one can predict how good a game is going to be. But going into a matchup, these are the two best teams that have ever met in the championship in the last five years at the Bantam Division. Very often, we have seen an upset happen, and uh, maybe a team that you didn't think quote unquote deserved to be in the a cup uh, make it or there was a powerhouse team but this year the two best teams no doubt about it are in the a cup championship for the bantam division the bell warriors and the gloucester raiders um, are going to be competing against each other they obviously a few weeks ago three weeks ago or so they played uh, a game where the gloucester raiders d dominated the bell warriors i think the final score is 25 nothing um and I know the Bell Warriors were not happy with how that game turned out. I know they learned a lot. And I, I know that they, uh, I, I think they were quite uh, actually humbled by that game. And I think it's one of those things that could be a blessing in disguise to have one of those losses hit you and get your team refocused. And um, I know, obviously, Jesse is uh, a coach on that team. That's why he's not uh, participating in this podcast tonight. Because we both felt that it was probably not fair or... Uh, wise for him to be involved in the podcast before the championship games we didn't want anybody to um, to feel like we weren't giving equal play to everybody so we're just excited for a great game so we're, we're all wishing uh, both teams good luck and uh, I my prediction for that game is I believe that the Bell Warriors are going to pull out this game I believe that uh, I believe that even though the Raiders dominated the Bell Warriors the last game the score was not truly reflective of the actual game. I think that the Bell Warriors um, were a little bit shell-shocked by going into this game and not being as prepared as they might uh, might have been normally. I know for a fact that they took the lessons that they learned from that game and they've, they've applied it the last three weeks. And last week was probably the best effort I've seen the Bell Warriors put on a football field all season. It was the most disciplined. It was the tightest uh, output that they've done all year and I'm really excited to see the game I think it's going to be a fantastic game but I do think that at the end of the day to beat the same team twice in one season um, especially teams that are so, so evenly matched is is very very difficult and I do think that we're going to see a great game and I do think the Bell Warriors will, will come out on top at the Bantam Division all we're really looking for is great football games like I said um, HESN all we're looking to do is help promote the sport make sure that the kids get the recognition that they truly deserve and uh, we're just excited to be part of this uh, championship weekend we're going to have we got a few couple a tr few tricks up our sleeve to improve 
the uh, the game day experience for all the all the players and uh, parents and fans for that game. So we're really excited to to, to be involved with it. Um, we want to thank we want to thank everybody for their support all year. This has been this has been by far the most successful year that we have had um, with our with our media, with Nakafa, with the podcast throughout the whole season. We've done is we've done more games this year than we've done any other year. We have a brand new uh, brand new branding with HESN. We've we've reached out to more parents and more athletes than we've ever have. And what we're doing right now is something like we always said that's never been done. You know, it's never been done in the sport of football in our country and. Like we always said, Jesse and I have done a lot of research in, in the States. And at this age, there's not a lot of media. There's not a lot of stuff that, that happens that, as good as what you guys have here in Ottawa. And we feel that if, if more people got involved, if more people were able to find ways to, to squeak out a few dollars and help support what we're doing here at HESN, we would be able to do so much more that people would, would be truly blown away by what we could achieve together. And um, we believe that uh, this championship weekend will just be another opportunity to talk to the parents and show everybody what we're really all about, which is making sure that these kids get the recognition they deserve and that athletes get, get, um, I guess, the opportunity to showcase their skills. Because at the end of the day, sport is an opportunity for people to become better human beings, whether that means get an opportunity to go to university and play football or whether that means to stay out of trouble and play football to the age of 23. It really doesn't matter to us. We just want to make sure that uh, whoever we're able to help or whoever we're able to touch, we want to make sure that, uh, that the sport of football lives on. We want to make sure that the kids get an opportunity to do what they want to do. And we want to make sure that, uh, that there's always a place for kids to play the sport of football that we all love so much. So don't forget that you can always check out what HSN is doing on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Obviously, if you have not subscribed already, go to our YouTube channel, become a subscriber. We're at 820 subscribers, which is pretty phenomenal considering we started the year at 450. We've almost doubled our subscribers since the season started which is an unbelievable achievement and we want to thank everybody for their support there if you're not following us on instagram go to instagram and check it out every single day we're uh, getting more users and we're getting more content coming up on instagram on facebook as well as on our youtube channel we just put up four videos today from this last weekend and we have already achieved a thousand plays in one day which is an unbelievable achievement I know at the end of the day, it doesn't sound too much, but these are the types of numbers that on some uh, local TV channels, they don't even get that many people watching some of their shows. So we are doing big things and it's all because of you guys. And I want to say thank you guys for, for supporting what we're doing here at HESN. It's championship weekend coming up this weekend. We've got A cup, B cup and C cup from Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday. It's going to be fantastic. Um, we didn't get a chance to talk about the midget division, but at the end of the day, you will see that come up once we that's going to be Saturday night. We'll have a great recap of that. And as as you guys always know, the recaps that we're going to be doing for these championship games are going to be a little more extended. We're going to have some brand new music dropping. We're going to have lots of great double angle footage. So, we want to thank everybody for joining us on episode 13 of the HSN podcast. And as always, if you guys have any questions or concerns, you can contact Tyler, Jesse, our emails or on the website, contact us through the YouTube um, comment section, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all these great social media platforms. Subscribe on YouTube and uh, thank you once again. And I want to tell everyone, as, uh, as always, peace. Welcome to the House Edge Sports Network, the pulse of youth sports.